Hello ladies and gentlemen, Panzer here with some more crossout. Yes, more crossout, because we like crossout. Well, I like crossout. I hope you guys are liking it too. And uh, today, we're going to be trying probably the biggest build yet. And I think biggest in terms of, well, firepower, but maybe size as well. So, what we have here is a bunch of frames. So what I'm going to attempt to do is build a vehicle that uses two, not one, two 88mm cannons. This is going to be interesting. Alright, so first things first, we are going to want to have the truck cabin. Now, the 88s are rather large. Uh, so I don't know exactly which position we want this to be in. Putting it all the way at the back could be an idea. But I think we're going to go try something a little bit odd. So this is going to be a bit of one of those strange builds that I do. And you're going to be seeing quite a lot of this. Now why I'm choosing the truck cabin, it's not the fastest, but I've chosen this mainly because it has... Well, it has the highest amount of energy. And it's probably the only one that can actually mount two 88s on at once, so that is going to be the main reason we do that. Alright, so that's the basic frame of it done. We haven't armoured it up yet. Uh, but uh, now time to put in the cannons. And here they are. So as you can see here, if I can show this to you, uh, there we go. So the firing arcs of the 88s are actually fairly limited, so you want to have them either at the front or at the back. And the reason is because that's where you're going to have the most range of firepower. You can have them firing to the sides, but there is basically no vehicle you can build that can actually put more than two on there at the moment. And even with a large number of generators, you're probably still not going to be able to do that. So, yeah, it is going to be one of those things that you really do need to plan out. One of the nicest things about the 88s, is, in fact, is that they have such a limited traverse, so when you need to armor up the sides of them, you can actually do that very easily without interfering with any of the uh, traverse range of the thing, which is actually very, very nice. So that's the basic cage of it going there now, and uh, they have a decent amount of hit points, not a huge amount, but they have a decent amount of hit points, so they're not likely to be destroyed, so we're just armoring up around it to pre prevent anything from hitting the cabin. Because, of course, this is going to be firing backwards, make no mistake. Uh, that is definitely what it's going to be doing. So now we need to just armor up the front a little bit so that we can protect ourselves. I'm just going to use fence pieces to just kind of dot around the shape of it anyway. And that should give us some limited protection. We're not really engaging anything from the front, so really, armoring up the front is not a huge priority. And uh, that's a 3,000 point vehicle with two 88s on it already. Uh, I think we can make this look a little bit more menacing since we have the parts for it. Got a couple of spikes that we can put on here. We can just put some spikes on there. That's looking quite nice. In fact, we can put some more spikes up here too. Yeah. They're really just for decoration, but they do actually provide a little bit more protection as well. Uh, same as the reason I've got this bumper spike here. They actually aren't really there to uh, give us more melee damage or anything like that. They're just there to give us a little bit more protection. And I'm going to put the bumper catch up here. That should protect the van roof there just a little bit. The plow is there for additional protection as well. Very high damage resistance on that too. So overall, this is pretty good. Um, not much more we can really do with that. I suppose we could armor up the wheels and protect those a little bit more. Let me throw a couple of fenders down on that. kind of make sure that we are able to stay as mobile as possible and that our wheels getting shot off
That's looking okay. I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. It's not the best armor protection, but it does sort of help prevent the wheels from just getting completely wrecked uh, right off the bat. Just put these metal boxes in here. That should give us a little bit more protection there. So really, we don't need to worry too much about the excess, uh, the wheels getting shot off from the rear there. The sides are vulnerable, uh, but that's why I have put set this to have four wheel steering. So hopefully this works out very nicely. Alrighty, here we go. So, um, basically the way I've designed this, it's intended to do a little power slide like so. Come to a stop and fire and then get away that's literally it there there's no nothing special about it it really other than of course it fires backwards um now there are limited there is limited ammo on these 88s they only have 10 rounds each so you probably don't want to be firing both of them at once but they are pretty devastating when fired together Okay, so possibly the strangest vehicle that I've ever actually put together so far. Both 88s there at the back. I have actually switched the triggers around, and the, the left trigger fires the gun that's mounted on the right, and the right trigger fires, or rather the right mouse button, fires the one on the left. And the reason I've done that is because it makes sense when you fire backwards. Uh, so that should help with conserving ammo somewhat. Um... Hopefully. It's a nice looking war rig up in front there. Uh, got a power slide in. We're a little bit exposed there. I think somebody is actually in front of us. But. Oh geez, that's a very narrowly avoided cannon shot there. Not so well avoided there. <laughs> but, uh... So getting used to reverse driving is tricky, at best. But it does kind of work. What the hell is that? So somebody has actually put fuel barrels on a, on a pole there to try and avoid getting hit or taking damage from it. Oh, we've been knocked out of position there. So this could actually work much better if I mounted it on tr on a tracked vehicle, honestly. Uh... There is somebody shooting at me and I can't seem to hit him. And we've lost both cannons. Right, so after having a look at that last match, I think, honestly, uh, wheels aren't the best way for us right now. So we're going to switch all of this out. All of it. Absolutely all of it. Uh, with the armored tracks that we have. Alright, off we go. So yeah, tracks probably better than wheels for what we need to do. We are basically a tank destroyer that fires backwards, so... This is where we need to be. Now, the, the main reason, and you might be wondering, why would I not just put this at the front? Well, simply put, a lot of vehicles go faster forwards than they go backwards. And the idea being that if I need to retreat, I can do so without too much issue. Simply because I will be able to go faster forwards. And you can see there, like even with the tracks, it is still much faster going forwards and backwards. So that that is the main thing. All right, one last go at this and uh, we're on the bridge map again with the riverbed running through it and I'm going to try and find a good sniping position where we can really make use of it. One thing that you will realize is that among cannons anyway, a, the 76 millimeter is one of those that you can fire snapshot at mid-range, but the 88s do suffer from pretty severe accuracy loss whenever you are uh, 
engage anything while having even the slightest amount of movement. Also, tracks can climb some seriously steep slopes. Alright, just putting some shots down range at somebody who's found a sniping spot. And I found another one over here. He's not firing at me, though. Let's see if we can put some shots on him. That's a hit. And that was a near miss, but he's seen me, so there's no point in hanging about over there. There is, however, another spot that we can go to. Which he may or may not be expecting. So typical tank destroyer sort of playstyle, really. You shoot, you scoot, and you relocate. Ooh, that was close. And time to retreat. Always retreat at a slight angle. Yeah, if we <laughs> we lost a gun, but if I had stayed at the angle I was at, he would have taken both of them out with one hit. So, uh, it's not what you want. Oh, somebody coming in close range. Oh, that was a miss. Oh. Come on, let's just get one more shot in. And I missed. And now I'm completely immobilized. But anyway, hopefully that gives you an idea of what you can really do in this game. The, this might not be the most effective design, however, if you are pl looking for that sort of tank destroyer playstyle, this is probably the time to go and do that. Uh, this, well, I guess this design could help. It might need a little bit more mobility on it, but the tracks are probably the way to go for this sort of thing. And, uh... In general, anyway, having two cannons on there, it's good, but it's not the most effective thing. Which is ironic to say, even though they're so damn powerful, you really don't get a lot out of them. Uh, you don't get that many shots unless you've got ammo boxes that you can put on there. And, yeah, overall, it does limit your usability unless you're really, really good with the cannons. Which is kind of hard to do when everything moves so damn quickly. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. If you did, don't forget to leave a like. And uh, comment down below if you have any tips or vehicles that you would like to see me try and make. And uh, if you have tried a similar design, let me know how you got on with it down in the comments. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. My name is Panzer. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.